Here's how to turn a Raspberry Pi into your very own custom computer. In this project, we'll show you how to build a DIY gaming rig or a workstation with a Raspberry Pi 2 and a 5-inch display. You can modify this 3D printed enclosure to fit your project. To drive the display, we're using the Adafruit Kepa. This is a Pi hat that lets you connect a 40-pin FPC display to the Raspberry Pi. The hat works really good in this project because it gives your display instant refresh and graphics acceleration without the extra cost of an HDMI encoder. So to set this up on Raspbian, you'll need to download the software utility and configure the screen. The parts used in this project are linked below and available on the Adafruit shop. So be sure to check out the guide on the Adafruit learning system and follow the circuit diagram while building this project. We'll start by wiring up a slide switch so we can easily power the circuit. We'll need to wire up an audio cable to an amplifier and connect the speaker to the audio output. The 3D printed enclosure is a two-piece design, it prints with no support material, and it's also free to download and customize. We'll mount the components to the enclosure using machine screws and then wire the connections together. You'll need to secure the Raspberry Pi to the standoffs before installing Kippa to the GPIO header. You can mount the display to the enclosure by fitting the panel underneath the clips to hold it in place. Insert the connector to the extension board and plug in the cable to the Kippa PCB. A 2500 milliamp LiPo battery can plug directly to the JST port on the PowerBoost 1000C. Now to close everything up, we'll need to make sure not to kink the ribbon cable while joining the two halves. You'll need to hold the halves together while fastening the machine screws, and now we have a portable Raspberry Pi with a 5 inch display. Optionally, you can install a quarter 20 inch thread insert so you can mount this to any standard tripod or mic stand. So whether you want a gaming rig or that workstation, you can use the parts in this project to build your very own portable Raspberry Pi. So how would you do this project differently? Tell us your ideas in the comments below and we'll use those for future project suggestions. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to check out our playlist for more Raspberry Pi builds. And if you want to stay updated, be sure to subscribe for more weekly projects from Adafruit.